Alright guys, what is up? We're here in a game between uh, News Buff and No Locks. We have No Locks here in the top hand side, I guess, playing. It looks like Draxar. And then we have News Buff here in the bottom hand side. And I do have News Buff in the chat to discuss his uh, thought process and what he's thinking um, during the game. Hey guys, it's me. Happy New Year's. <laughs> Happy New Year's, that's for sure. Hell yeah. What are you even playing? FS Forsaken Ways. What the heck is this, dude? Uh, it's like centered around spell charged, adaptive, favor. You know, it's a spell spam deck, but uh, with Julibrium, which is also right. uh, got some synergy with that. I I don't know if this is a good battle group, but it's fun. I will say its strength is in late game, though. Mm. Um, and considering he's got this eight speed dude who rushed that side font, yeah. um, I'm already kind of positioned poorly. But good news is I do have a physical resistance three guy. Oh, shit. Yeah. And He's got a lot of physical damage on the board, so I'm happy about that. Yeah, yeah. Um, you also all your units are uh, wizards, so you could actually like yeah. get the the boost. That's right. I, I do run boost on uh, the Jalibrium, uh, the one with creativity. Is is the one with is it a boot? Is it a wizard? I mean. Yeah, it's well, yeah, it boost Jalibrium and wizards. All right, cool, cool, cool. All right, cool, cool. All right, uh, let me see. You have Marsong going. Favor. Yeah. So he wait wait wait. So you won't... have favor going off right now. Does that when you successfully okay, never mind. Alright. Hmm. Yeah, okay, All so, right, so let's see. You I, have Nora I do, I do I do have um that Lich discount. Wait, do I? Yeah, leverage Lich. Oh yeah. So I need to consume that real quick. True. Uh, which I will do. So it only lasts three turns, right? Yeah. Yeah. Is it a wizard? It is. Um, right. So like I said, the deck does center around stacking up spell charged. Um, so I don't want to be very aggressive with my librarian, but I also don't want him to do nothing. Um, but you can see I have a lot. I mean, I have two pieces on the board already, apprentice and librarian, Yeah. which are support units, kind of back row support yeah, units. Late game type things, right? Yeah. Um, but he just dumped 84 Nora into his top font, which makes me hope that he won't put anything too dangerous in that bottom font. I'm probably hoping against hope because he does have three three uh, fonts right now. Mm. But let's see what comes out. I mean, if you play something, it'll have to be cheap. But even even okay, <laughs> maybe oh not. God. Never mind. I Are do you, run you do have one hex doom. right now. I'm wishing I had two dooms. <laughs> Alright, you have doom. Okay, you do have hex out. That will stall for a bit. You have resistance physical. That will stall for a bit. Really, I mean, you can, you can, even if you're a font down, you can win late just because your bad group is better late if you can stall his rush, right? So if you can stall him from getting to your mid font, sort of say, then you can still right. do okay later. And so no one's in range of Bone Prism. Um, no. He's definitely leaping in with Berserker next turn. Oh, yeah, the pounce. True, true, true. Yeah, Luckily, I guess. I'm just, I'm just, fuck. So if he leaps, do you ha do you have the AP to kill him? That's really the choice, right? If he leaps, can you kill him and then get your font back? So then he might be like dissuaded from going going in even further. Um. I mean, you have I the bone to... prism, and then you also have a ritual of destruction. So that's at least ten damage. You have double tap from Skycaller and double tap from Librarian. It's not exactly enough. You need like at least one more champion damage wise, I think. Do you have any like high Should threat I, champions? Maybe. If I don't rush that side font, he's just gonna rush my font, and I'll be it'll be three to one. So I feel like I have to go in. Um, do you have something to stall him while you go in? Because I don't think personally, yes. I don't That's think you should go in if you can't stall at least the violence, or else it will just go it'll go off, right? Even if you go in with the sky collar, even with the resistance physical, he'll just shred it. Or he's at twelve damage. Yeah. He hits it twice. Um, he'll get the zeal speed. How easy is Purge in Sundered Lands? Eh, it's not that common anymore. It used to be more common, not as much. Alright, that's alright. Does that reduce speed? It yeah. does. Okay, yeah, that's a good play. That's a good play. So you have the... Alright, so you have minus 9. So he's getting minus 3 AP a turn. You have the resistance physical. You could... So I need to make sure he does not have a leap target. But I do want to position this guy to shatter. Because I assume he's going to put something on Aspect of Violence. Yeah, good idea. Or or on the Sky Caller, either way. And your, let's see, Pounce is 6, 7, 8. So you can move up one more if you want with your Arc Mage. Like, to the right, I mean. 
then again, then he'll be able to move oh, really? in with Akakios. Well, the Akakios can then move in, though, if you do move up. At least, like, easily move in, put it that way. So, this might be a waste, but... Should I? No. Fuck it. I ran out of time. I panicked. Oh, you have, you have summon instead of... Yeah. Yeah, I don't run the standard... Uh... Okay. Selections. What do here. what do most people go? I don't even know now. <laughs> it's uh oh augment augment. Most people go augment. Right. Well, I mean, but, yeah, I'm not in a really a summons deck or skelly deck. So, all right. So flamethrower. So I'm perfectly positioned for him to get a triple flamethrower off. True. <laughs> uh, I do have war That's banner. No. I mean, he's at 15 though. You do have plus 11 somehow. How do they have plus 11? Yeah. Okay. Well, <laughs> you shouldn't be dead. And they're all inflamed, so then they're gonna take an extra how much? Six each. You can ritual healing the uh, summon or the summon yeah to get it plus eighteen. He'll die. Six. He'll die. Six damage from inflame. Ah, uh, true, true, true. And actually, my uh, archmage was gonna take twelve. Yeah. And that was massive. Yeah, I could have maybe moved back or at least not summon the undead. But, I mean, that did cause him to use the flamethrower without going into your font. So right now he, I mean, like I said, he's an okay player, but he still doesn't sometimes see the overall picture. So yeah. his overall picture should be to rush your font. Um, I mean, your your battle group is pretty, you know, orthodox. So, or unorthodox? Yeah, unorthodox. So I wouldn't even know oh, what to yeah. play against you anyway. So even if I played you, I'd be like, hey, what what do I, what do I want? And it is to rush you just because you have that great late game. All right, so you waste the AP on the Berserker. That's fine. All right. Okay. So you're alive. Fuck. Well you could... Hmm. The Berserker is your biggest threat next turn. You can move away, just like run away from that Berserker. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Move one prison, not bad. I'm in leap range. That's true. <laughs> true. Um, <laughs> is he dead though? Is the question. Can he? He can't move in with the Akakios to a, a basic attack, because the the one warrior is in the way. Um, the aspect is not exactly scary just yet, especially with that resistance physical. Even though life siphon will mean that even if your sky caller attacks, it won't really you know deal damage to the violence. You need a better way to kill it, like with that doom, like you said. Yeah. How many attacks is he going to get next turn? Let's see, is that 10? So you can do 2, 2, four, 6, right? With a multi-attack 3. Cause it's two, so it's even if I surround him with my Lightbringer, Majestic, all that, it doesn't matter. But can I predict where Pounce will land? Oh, are you talking about the uh, aspect or the... Draxler? I'm trying to predict where Berserker is going to land and position my Lightbringer to put Majestic on it. Oh, so light. So I believe Pounce always goes to the top left first of like the champion. Top left, then top right, then bottom left, then bottom right. Of the champion. Dude, this looks bad. This looks real bad. So you're going to wait. If you do want to stop Pounce or at least cause it not to... I mean, the, on the Archmage, you go to that the corner. That's the kind of, I guess, north-ish of the of the uh, Archmage. That would then um, reduce the damage, I, I think, at least. Oh, what was that? I didn't even know that made a sound. All right, regen. That's okay. Like I said, you can deal damage, but you'll heal it up. Part. I mean, he's at thirty-eight health. Do you have a bait like a? Auto attack? To, I mean, not auto. Um, a spell? They can kill him later, maybe? Can I... Will he get into my font? That's my question. Um, if he pounce... With pounce, no. No. I mean, he's not in your font no matter what. Um, but yeah, no, pounce... You know how pounce works, right? Like, the... Uh, how it works? I don't know where it lands. I'm never good at predicting that, actually. Yeah, Um. so pounce will... I, I think, at least... Um, will always, no matter what, depend. It doesn't matter where you attack from. Will on the champion that you um, select, it will pounce on the top left. So the the I mean, it's always hard to say northwest, I guess. Um, spot so square first, then northeast, then southwest, and then southeast. 
Okay. So, and it will always do that. And what's interesting is um, on the shrine, it will do the same, but I think it stops at the northwest. So if both places are blocked on the shrine of northwest, it just won't do the damage. It's like kind of bugged, I think. I'm not sure. <laughs> All right. I wonder if I should have used Essence Drain on that violence last turn. Essence Drain? Um, we can use it now, too. So Maybe. I have a Poison Trap, which I want a Kaikos and or Berserker to eat next turn. Yeah, that's hard. It's a, it's a lot of if. If you can get it off, you can win the game. If you don't get it off, <laughs> so it's a big, a big if. <laughs> Do you think he'll notice <laughs> if I walk up two spaces and then walk back? Yeah, like I said, he's not horrible. Like he knows kind of what he's doing. So I think I personally think he would notice, but it's also hard. Where would you position it so he doesn't run into it? You know? Yeah. Well. Yeah, in between the berserker and the Akaikos. <laughs> Yeah. Is this bad? Is this, bad? <laughs> uh, is this maybe, obvious? Maybe you should have clicked, clicked somewhere else first. Like, step there, click something else, and then, like, do other things with others so you go back to the Lightbringer, you know, just to distract, but whatever. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Um, I got another weakness. Oh, oh, this is not Murkwater weakness. This is Weaken. Um... This aspect of violence is about to rape. Um, not in range to hex him. How obvious is that? Does he have detection on the field? Oh, what the fuck? What was that? Guarded Draxar? Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. I've never seen that before. All right, that's a scary-ass Draxar Berserker, that's for sure. All right, good job. I mean, I think... Let's see, one, two, three... Will four, I survive six, even if I put Weaken on him? He's going to get 10 AP. He'll be at 10 damage. On the violence? Yeah. Let's try it. I'm not going to math it out because I'm bad. Let's just try it. Do resistance physical. Can he legionnaire attack? Yeah, I can. Yeah, you really need to kill that. I mean, once you kill that thing, the rest is not as scary. The aspect is really the scariest thing here. He got 18 health, so killing him would be like top priority. This is not the time for another marsh song. <laughs> no, not really. But you're at <laughs> minus 15. I mean, you're at 15 um, stacks, so he's getting minus five Nora a turn. So that's not bad. All right, so he double attacks. So the aspect of violence only double attacks. He's doing five, and then or even less because the armor, right? Yeah. So he's doing like four and then five, or four and then six, something like that. So not too much, unless he can get a cleanse. But SL cleanse is like, I mean, what do they have? They have purge and they have the equipment. So if he's putting more Nora into the aspect, you could think of like just running away and then grouping up. I'm not sure. Yeah. I mean, I feel like my, all my eggs are in this. Oh my oh, god! Okay, that's one. You at least at least he loses ten. Oh AP. shit! I didn't position it right. The berserker is oh, well. still there, but the berserker's only at eight damage, right? Yeah, he's hexed. So, where's? Wow, I did not position that trap right. <laughs> you know, pounce, pounce. Like I said, top. Oh wait, what? I guess it's closest. Wait, what? Is it only on the shrine where it's top left and the top right? Oh no, it's pull. I'm so dumb. I'm sorry. No, it's it's um relocate ally. Relocate ally is top left and top right. Um, but pull or sorry, um pounce is the closest position. You're right. I'm wrong there. All right, so he has the hive there, but you do have the at least the dark apprentice is positioned pretty well. Like all your champions have the regen. Okay, that is damage. You take, fine. You get damage. Hasted. No, damage. Yeah, he got mutate yeah. damage. Fuck. I mean, he's a pretty strong battle group like, compared to yours. Like, I feel like all yeah. of your champions are kind of suboptimal looking at the Skycaller and the Lightbringer. I can kill this violence next turn. Yeah? Okay, that's big. Because then you can even, like, at least, like, if you kill the violence, then his champions have to spend AP to get to that font, right? 
to contest. Is that? Um, that still pound. won't kill it, right? No. Because you, and have, I have, you shatter. have resistance anyway, even if... Does it do 5 straight damage or is it physical damage? Yeah, it's physical damage. So, okay, you have should have the kill in the aspect, which is dope. Do you have to use a spell though, which would be kind of bad, because you really do want to like deploy or get another thing going, like killing the berserker. Oh, that's good though. That's hype. Yeah, nice. Oh, okay. Get that Nora Globe nice. though, that's for sure. I need that Nora Globe. Let me shatter first. Can I click on my own fucking guy? Thank you. Oh yeah, okay, shatter. Dude, what the heck is he doing? He puts, all right, so he wasted, what is that, 35 Nora at least on that equipment. You get the Nora Globe, not only, you have the font now, so he has to spend AP to get to that font. Really, now all you have to do is, I mean, you're you're uh, tied in fonts once you get that bottom font. Um, well, what is that? What the heck? Mystic Altier, or Atelier? How would you call it? How do you say it? Atelier. Ah, okay. Atelier, it means like workshop. Ah, is it French? Or what language? French? Is that French? Atelier? I think so. Sounds French. Um, yeah. Cool. Now I now for the rest of my pronounce or sorry of my videos, at least I know how to pronounce that. Why did I move why did I put shit in range of his legionnaire? Why? Alright, so the good thing is um at this stage, I'm gonna have pretty significant um Anora advantage. Yeah, I mean he's minus six right now, right? Cause look at the stacks on my uh, on my dude there. Yeah, minus six. So he's at minus six as well as uh, you have that Mars song running, right? So you're yeah. actually at least in fonts. If you get that font, or even if you don't, you should be okay in in Nora. Um, you really just need to stop, you need to quench quench this this push by him. And then you're good. And that Berserker is really the, the biggest danger. The rest is like, it, it's, oh, 11 speed on Akakia stuff. That Hive, though, is doing work. So he's going to come kill my Skycaller. All right, let's see. I get, he's going for the Archmage? Oh, shit, OK. I mean. The most important thing for me right now is to protect my Librarian. That's my only win condition. Yeah. Oh, 21 now. Holy cow, how did that happen? I thought he was at 18. I cast Depths of Despair. Ah. What does that do again? Which is, uh, it's a 20 Nora spell. Does 8 damage plus 2 every time you cast it. Okay. All right, all right. So not bad. Now what, then minus 9? Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> I say 3 more turns and you have the advantage. But you have to, like, last those 3 turns without losing too badly, right? I can, like I can win this what? even more. I, I, mean, I need to retreat at this point. Because at this point, Stitch Librarian has enough charges for me to win if I turtle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My, like, I've, I've played this BG enough to know. Like, once he gets to this many charges, that's a clear win condition. Uh-oh. So Apprentice is dead. Does he get the normal globe? Yeah, he does if he wants. Is Shaman dead, though? Let's see. Is he dead from the Hive? That's... Three plus, f oh, why is he moving? All right, well, he's trapped. He's not dead, but he's trapped. But I mean, once your Archmage comes out of that snail form, does he get the um, the uh, summons again? I don't know if it goes on cooldown. Uh, he should. Because then you at least you have that. Also, at least you have a hive there, which is nice. So it's your hive is. Okay, also, I do he damages his own hive with the uh, fire blast. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, kill that Berserker, though. Berserker is the biggest threat here. Once the Berserker is dead, he doesn't have as much damage. So you can just kind of start tanking. Yeah. He's like three but supports. Can I kill him? 9, 10, 11, 12 damage. Can't. Can't kill him with a single hit. Well, you do have charge. How much damage does Cannon Shot do on Torton Land Cannon? Torton Land Cannon? Was it 12 or 10? 10 damage? At least. Mm -hmm. See, you're forsaking ways. You could have what? Lightning, lightning, something or other. One, two, three, four, five. Ten. 
good. Nice damage, though. Oh, yeah, he's only ha Wait, no. You're half. So he can't get these Nora Globes because he's too fat. Yeah, true, true, true. That's really big. If you get those, it's really good. And he's got... Oh, dude, he's got only ranged guys down here. So if I position here, he can't actually attack me. That's hot. Electricity damage? Or, sorry, shock, I mean? Or jolt, yeah, shock. <laughs> uh, the Archmage attacking, it's funny. Yeah. Is there any equipment or relics for me to steal? I'll just make another copy of that thing when I can. So I need to protect this font. Um, is he still hasted? He's not. I'm thinking of putting a chipped boulder down. That would kill his hive, but you're not in, you're on the font, so he gets the font at the moment. Which is kind um, of what do you mean he gets the font? The the middle font, right? No, I got my light bringer there. Oh, true, that's yours. Oh, sorry, my bad. Yeah, you're right, you're right. All right, you're looking all right. This is though. looking good for me. True. He's at such a Nora disadvantage. As long as I don't completely fail. Yeah, I mean, he should be going all in on this librarian, to be honest. That's just the only thing that's keeping me in. I kind of regret killing his hive because my atelier is going to come off cooldown soon, but I still think it was the right choice because yeah. I just need someone to hang out in that font for a, a Kaikos. Also, that hive is actually in a pretty good position. Oh, he does. Yes, he lives. And I can just buffer him. Yeah. Um, I mean, he can attack with his high priest to kill it, though. Oh, dang it. <laughs> uh, I mean, that hive, though, that you position is in a pretty good spot to, like, it, like, blocks him from being wanting to be anywhere in that position. That's where he wants to be. Uh-oh. This is bad. That's physical. Damage. No, it's not bad. I mean, honestly, he can have this side font, and he's still going to lose just based on the, the Nora Hex. Yeah. As long as I can keep that guy alive. So he gets the kill, he gets the normal globe too, and the fawn. But like I said, once that Archmage comes back and you get the uh, the summons, how that will be a big, st last? big stall. Say again? I said, how long does snail form last? Holy shit. Yeah, I know. It's true. I mean, it's 5 AP to use. So it, it, it's like, you have to get really close and it's 5 AP. So often you can attack. Wait, did he choose not to kill my Lightbringer? True. Why? Because he wanted to kill the other guy. Yeah, so you get both normal globes, or all three if he does die. That's awesome. That's crazy. Why would he do that? Oh, I got the jelly teleport. Huh. <laughs> I mean, not that, that jelly really... teleport is online, baby. Not that you really need it. I think this game is over. Um, unless I make like a really terrible mistake, I don't think he can come back. I mean, he just deployed a pretty big Angel of uh, War, but yeah, I guess we'll see. No, no. I mean, the Nora disadvantage is too huge. Should I try to one round this? I need to math. I need to math real quick. So 45 divided by 2. So that's rounded up. That's 23. Um, how much does Stone Barrage do? That's 9, 6, 3, right? No, no, no. SL bonus, yo. It's uh, it's less. It's 7, you know, SL bonus. Minus 7, minus 4, minus 1. That's 10. And then 9, minus 2, minus 7. I think I can one round this Akaikos. Yeah, definitely worth it. I mean, you get the two Nora Globes. You do have Nora for maybe an extra spell if you have it. Nice, 22 damage. So, is Auto Wing better than Stone Barrage? Let me see. So, Auto is, is 11 minus 4, so no. <laughs> uh, no. I don't think so. You know, three damage. Well, uh, apparently I can't do math. <laughs> that's embarrassing. So he's at six health. Uh, that's my turn. He'll be at three next turn. I mean, he'll die the turn after, but yeah, he's not dead now. Do you, don't you have the Nora, though, to deploy? You just gained two Nora Globes. You might have the Nora to deploy. Uh, no, I'm spending on a Bog Crystal for some reason. Ah, true. Why Why do you have a Bog Crystal? Why would you play that? <laughs> I mean, you why can at least that? play that on know. your uh, Snail, right? Because of the Altier? A tier, I mean? Atelia? Uh, I can't copy my own shit. Oh, uh, okay. Right. I, I still think he's he's lost this. Yeah, I mean he's at seven seven damage to that Kakios. Don't forget though the roar of the fallen afterwards, so it's a bit scary. Oh yeah, what does that do? 
You do have the summon Minus as two well two. as the yeah. bone prison next turn if he doesn't kill the Archmage. And that will be like a shitload of stall, right? Because it's like 15, AP, 15 or 45 HP in, in summons. So he's at minus, he's almost, what is he at? Minus 10 Nora per turn from Stitched. Mm, minus 9. Is that how that works? Every 3? Yeah, so he's at minus 9. The thing with like Mystic Atelier plus uh, Spell Charge Nora Hex is it discourages him from playing equipment, relics, and spells because it, it hurts him to do any of those things. I'm actually shocked I'm winning this. Yeah, you're doing right. It's really just uh, once you can like stem the the bleeding, sort of say, then you do have the the win. He's still pushing though pretty hard at the moment. Ooh. He doesn't get the he Norglobe. Get the... He still doesn't get that Norglobe. Yeah. I want to get both of those fat Norglobes. <laughs> True. All right, I'll be back oh, in like shit. 20 oh, seconds. All right, just keep chatting because it's still recording. Yeah. So the cooldown did not refresh when he came out of snail form. Um, it was on three turn cooldown for Bone Prism. He came out of snail and it's still three turns, so it sucks. Okay, we got a mutation damage on Legionnaire, which puts him at slightly more damage. So I think I want to. Oh, yeah, so I'm going to move up one to get. So he needs to stagger his two ranged guys over there so that they can defend each other. Um, all right, so I got an Angel of War coming and a Serpentor Ardent. Uh, oh, he capped my font. That's not fun. So killing that dragon first, pretty big mistake, because now all my guys have a damage, minus damage. Um, but I wasn't going to attack that much anyways. Unfortunately, I can't really deploy anywhere good. Um, Angel of War is melee. Serpentor Ardent is melee. Um, I'm considering putting out my Overmind for the boost. Vulnerability physical, magical damage. Okay, so... Hmm... I don't want to get greedy and put out another librarian. All right, I'm back. Hello. What happened? Right. I'm going to get my boost out. You have both Norglobes, by the way? I did. All right, nice. Yeah, that should be a win then. I mean, with both I'm Norglobes rich. and your rich bitch. librarian at 27. Dude, he's getting minus 10 almost. Uh, he's at minus 10 now. Yeah. And I've got two more songs stacked. Nice, dude. Is there anything for me to clone? Anyone got any equipment? Wait, is your bone present no on or no? Is my what? No. Snail form didn't. Uh, my cooldowns didn't tick during uh, okay. during uh, snail form. Oh, wait. So it's not. What, how, how many turns do you have on it? I still have two turns left. Oh, now. shit. All right. Then, yeah, if you keep that Archmage alive, then you have a better chance. Without. I mean, once. If you give him that right font, it might be a bit harder, but we'll see. You do have that uh, Atiel, though. Or a, how do you pronounce it again? Mystic Atelier? Atelier. 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 So. Oh, he just wasted <laughs> he what, got tired 8 AP on killing that thing? Why wouldn't he font contest? Oh, maybe he's going to. Oh, he's going to put a relic. But wait. I'll just copy it. Yeah, exactly. You'll just copy it, and then he can't use it either. But wait, is that for all champions? So it's not really worth it to copy it. No. Because it's, it's all That's spells, funny. right? Is he killing the relic? He's attacking He's the getting relic. getting tired of my atelier. <laughs> All right. So can I possess this Angel of War? Can I use um, Soul Corruption on him? Hmm. I mean... Let's see. Because Soul Corruption cannot be cleansed. So I'm just going to put uh, Soul Corruption on this Angel of War. Yeah, it looks like it should work. I mean, at least by... I mean, you know how Pox programming works. <laughs> uh, yeah. It, it says unit is cleansed. And if it's not cleansable, then it should work. But, you know... Yeah. I got my soul corruption and my doom now. I'm telling you, the I can't believe he's just not going balls to the wall to kill this librarian. I just he just doesn't understand the threat that this, this thing is, I guess. Um 
Oh yeah, the other good thing is I now have Jelly Teleport, which is crucial. I need to kill the statue though, for real. I uh, can't really reach it easily without putting him into danger. <laughs> oh, you got a funny attack. <laughs> All right, nice warrior. Next turn, you have your bone poison up, right? Yes, that's correct. All right, so you have now minus eleven on his AP. So he's a font down, so to say. Well, I guess he's a font even, just because you're he's two fonts and you're one. So I mind locked his high priest, and unfortunately, I got sermon. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, you, um, you should have done it well, on the Angel of War. You would have gotten uh, Hunter Walker or Spur. No, it, it takes activated abilities. Oh, okay, never mind. Non basic attack. Act oh, you're right. Okay. I did not know that. I thought it was just the highest cost ability. I didn't even know it was activated. All right. So I need to keep track of how many turns are left on this. So four turns. In four turns, I will own Angel of War. <laughs> True. And I'm just, should I doom Ar uh, Ardent? Yeah, I'll probably just doom him. You're not in, you don't have the, uh, the spell presence, do you? No. Say. Damn, that thing hits hard, actually. Oh, that's because he has no defense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, he, he just buffed your Angel of War, so to say. Oh, yeah, true. So it's not cleansable, so even if he uses the staff, right, it won't do anything? That's right. The thing is, um, possessed is cleansable. Okay. So once it becomes possessed, he can cleanse it. All right, all right. I believe. But not by equipping the thing, or not by equipping uh, the. I guess he could put the staff. equip on my guy. The staff of what's it called? Dragon Dragon God Staff, something like that. Yeah, I don't know how that's gonna work. That could be bad. <laughs> yeah, I guess it depends how the the wording is. What the? Oh, right, shit. Heal. He's got a lot of Nora saved up. Look at this. Yeah, 96 or no, 89. <laughs> 89 Nora, but that's it's a slow champion. Remember that. that oh, gives you dude, even you more know what turns. I just realized? I cast Soul Corruption with Tainted Statue out, so it costs 50% more. Oh, yeah. So I spent like 80 Nora. Damn. <laughs> I was wondering where all my Nora went. Yeah. Uh, I, I got Merkwater first. Weakness. I got Murkwater weakness back. Kill the statue first, though, before you play it. You can kill that high priest, though, or you have three, four, five attacks at least. You have five attacks. No, yeah, that is a final attack. You're close to killing the high priest, though. See, can he double tap? No. Six, ten. No, he's not enough damage. Nice, dude. There you go. Look at all those summons. Like, even if they don't deal damage, they're really just there to uh, stall, right? So, I mean, you're at what? 33, negative 11 by him at the moment? So, he's right now even in font, sort of say. Once you get your font back, you'll be up a font. Should I Merc Water make weakness? Or should I deploy? I would deploy. 100% de deploy if you can. I wouldn't really play a spell. You're not in danger, right? What what could die this turn if he uh, if you don't deploy? Like his Angel of War, as long as he's not in range of the uh spur, he's only only a spur, you're fine. Wait, can your Should I buffer my Should I buffer my Archmage? Yeah, true true true. Can your Archmage uh, somehow it's a bit dangerous. Yeah, I guess maybe survive. If you can keep your Archmage alive, that'd be pretty big. <laughs> Just have to watch out. Wait, does he have Purge? Purge is the only thing you have to be scared about if he does play that. I don't think he does. I've watched this game at least two times, and I don't think he does. And if he doesn't play Purge, then he, he'll have like a very hard time because of that uh, Oblivion Shield, right? All right, I put Nora Shielded on Shipped Boulder. You did? So... <laughs> If he attacks Chip Boulder, I get Nora. <laughs> Is that a spell? Or what? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's, I think it's a hidden spell. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's hidden. 
Nora infusion. Yeah, 30, 39 stacks. Holy cow. I'm just praying he attacks Chip Boulder so I can get some free Nora. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this deck, this deck is so janky. Like every time I could do the easy, the easy thing, I do the janky thing. Oh wait, what was that? Did he just? What wait, so it deals damage to my buffer and it consumes Oblivion Shield. How bullshit is that? That was weird. You saw that, right? Yeah. It's supposed to prevent the damage, but the buffer, it prevented it twice. No, no, no. It says, uh, Draxar Marf hits Bone, Rock, Ar uh, Bone Ar Circle Archmage has 35 damage to be absorbed. And then it attacks. Oh, I thought it was 40. Oh, it's 35. Okay, yeah, shit, I'm wrong. All right, so you're I'm wrong. Fine. Ooh, your overmind is pretty big because of that creativity, and you have so many spells. But I guess he is dead no matter what. Right? <gasps> Nora! Nora. Nice. I got 30 Nora. Nice, nice. Yeah. And that priestess should be dead, even with the heal heal champion, right? Wait, so how, but how much did the spell cost? Uh, it cost 25. I'm up 5 Nora. <laughs> <laughs> and you have, you have minus 40 on that. Dude, the Stitch Librarian, um, holy cow. So he'll get one more turn with Angel of War before I own it. Yeah, all right, awesome. What is this? Unstable power source. Kills relics? It doesn't matter whatsoever. <laughs> That's a wasted Nora. I mean, that, that Valdak, in, all, in my opinion, is also wasted Nora. Like, he should have pushed by now. He's not pushing. I think you have this one. I mean, you have yeah. all those undead warriors. He has no way of killing them easily, like with a ritual. You have a, a very... Like, even if Valdak comes into the fight, it's still only dealing 8 damage a turn. Oh, <gasps> you got the font, dude. Damn. And the, yeah, okay, GG. Look at this. You even have the high priest. Can you keep the overmind alive? Ooh, teleport. All right. Uh, I definitely want to heal a little bit with these skellies. Heal? Oh, you mean with the uh, ritual of healing? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Just make sure not to kill the undead warrior that has 15 health. Right. Oh. Which one was that? I didn't actually look. Yeah, no, you killed the right one. It's all good. All right, cool. The, the one closest to the left is the uh, the, the better one. Yeah, dude. You have the font, right. even. That's insane. He's what getting... am I deploying? <laughs> 30 I think I want this glow. Oh, shit. I'm just going to give him the, the font. Um... Yeah, it's a bit dangerous. If you deploy something big, it's a bit dangerous, but... I think you have this one too now at this point. I mean, you get you get his Angel of War next turn, right? Even with the intensified. Yeah, yeah, I think his Angel of War next turn. Can you keep your Boulder alive? Probably not. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to font con I'm gonna have to relic contest. I think. Oh wait, you know what I'll do? What? I'll do this. You could give him the font for a turn too, if you're getting the Angel of War next turn anyway. It, he, you might bait him, right? Bait him into deploying, and then just kill whatever's in the font with the Angel of War. It could be an idea. Ooh, Nexus, right? I only took two from that. Oh man. Oh yeah, interesting. All right, two. that's everything I got. Wait, it's minus. Wait, what? Oh, it only does feel four. Sorry, that makes sense. It I mean, you do have the info. Oh, it's mine. It's mine. <laughs> now let's see if he cleanses it. Oh, shit, it cleansed. Oh, God. Is it his? So the possession procced and then the cleanse procced. Ah. Oh, God. Oh, no, it sucks. All right, this makes this game wow. a bit harder. He now has That's a, bad. a giant angel of war and you wasted 50 Nora, is it? Uh, it's 75 Nora because that tainted statue was up. That's no boy, no. Dude, wow. That sucks. Okay, warp. That's interesting. I mean, his Arden isn't double tap. Oh, okay. All right. Nice, nice. That's bad. All right. Should I just doom the Angel of War now? I mean, I guess. <laughs> Unless you have a way. To, I mean, all your champions are pretty low damage. Is the only way I see of you killing it. Well, he has a high damage, high damage. I still have this bot font. Yeah, and 42 sacks. <laughs> Another relic? Another relic? Another relic! <laughs> oh my god. 
That's so funny. Does it even damage anything? That's so desperate. What? What was that? Oh, he gained five Nora. Wait. Oh, yeah, he did. Man, I cannot believe I spent 75 Nora. I mean, that wipes out my whole advantage, like, that I've been building. My Nora advantage, you know? Wait, what, what would ruin your Nora? Oh, because you have two... You Spending have two 75 Nora. Nora on a soul corruption that was doomed yeah, from the beginning. Yeah. So that's what, physical? Okay. I can deal with that. This is looking bad, dude. This is looking I mean, bad. It's, it's, yeah, it depends. If you want to go the long game, I think you do still have it. If you keep that librarian alive and you can stall somehow. But it'll be very back and forth, that's for sure. <laughs> this is one of those games where I'm like, eh, fuck it. I don't even feel like playing anymore at this point. I'm bored. But you're still not right. Uh, that Norglobe, you can't get it, though, because then you won't be in the font. You put a relic on it, and then at least you won't get it. Ooh, nice doom. Yeah, you don't get that Norglobe, though, which would be big. Because that would give you, what, 11 at least? Uh, what? That oh. I, I could have put a relic on it, too. Shit. Yeah, that would have been okay, at least. So, should I put my Atelier out again? Probably not, because he has that relic overload thing yeah so i think i'm just i think i'm just gonna keep doing this <laughs> you know if it works it works i mean i warned you this was a late game deck didn't i when i when i when yeah, i started yeah i guess you did <laughs> i said like the whole win condition here is fall and build up spell charged because <laughs> you know that it also benefits from his spells yeah when you're at 51 stacks how much is that What's 51 divided by 3? <laughs> uh, what is that? Uh, it's 3 Nora for every 9. So that's 10, 9 11, 12, 30. It's like is 45, 9 times 6. Oh my god. I think I want to get more jelly jellies on the port regeneration. Yeah, I mean, with all those things on cooldown, at least all your jellies will have uh, portal and heal, right? Or teleport and heal, I mean. All right, now this time the doom is gonna work. I'm not going to get gypped out of the 75 Nora. Yeah. I feel like I've gotten value out of this uh, Archmage. Yes, for sure. He's been tanking. Also, that Nora infusion totally paid off. Um, so it cost me 25 to cast, and he dealt. I wonder if overkill damage generates Nora or if it's only up to their hit points. Because I either got, well, I guess it doesn't matter. I either got 46 or 60 Nora out of it. Yeah. What the fuck? Why? Why does he have so much stuff? Ah, oh, Vex. I mean, he does have two fawns, or three at least. 80 Nora Vex, though, not the uh, 75 Nora Vex. So. All right, I'm starting to get worried. I just don't know if I can deal with all these. Yeah, what what champs do you have? Do you have any tanks? Um, I Magnus the Fallen, but he's anti ranged. Mm. And then I have a Bright Moon Lich, which is vulnerability physical, <laughs> yeah. and that's it. It's hard to deal with all these SL champs because all your champs have such low damage, you know. Yeah. So. He can't kill you because of all your spells, but you can kill him because, you know, SL versus support champions. Yeah. Minus six, or sorry, six damage, I mean. And he has regen rank. Oh, he'll rank one at least, but. See, so invoke, cast on your Mire, teleport. So he does have teleport rank two, so he's very tanky, that Nexus, at least. Run that Archmage away, yeah, exactly. Text once, tops. Um. 
Do most people go Oblivion Shield on the Archmage? I don't even know at this point. Is it Oblivion Shield or is it Nora? Nora Shielded? I'm not sure. Is Magnus the Fallen still good? What else do you have? Genesis Lich. Nothing else? <laughs> I mean, my Bright Moon Lich is vulnerability physical, so I think that's off the table. Yeah. I mean, wait, Genesis... Is that the one with... Uh, is that the Legendary? Yeah. That one's pretty strong in all situations, gotta say. Especially if you get the Invoke off. Oh, wait, no, it's not. I'm thinking of the wrong one. But whatever. It was still okay. I was thinking about the uh, the Legendary that has... What was it called? Should I teleport into his font? Ooh. Yeah, sure. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, uh, well, I clicked the wrong square. Oh, my God. So it's a, that's a bit of a strange to place to teleport to, but why not? That's um, you do have not. you do have an one with Nora, so and he has physical, magical, <laughs> physical, so you should be okay. You will die directly at least, and you can oh, I can't click anything. I can't click anything. Oh my god! <laughs> it won't let me click anything. Fuck! I was trying to teleport the far end of his font and misclicked. I'm thinking, I mean, just with the battle group itself, I like the Librarian, I like the Overmind because of the creativity, but do you think of maybe you could play more champions with, like, Adaptive, just so you have better, like, late-game chances? Or more, yeah. maybe just more stalling champions, because, like... So Genesis Lich has Adaptive, and Magnus has Adaptive. The problem is half my spells are FS, so they yeah. won't proc. Um... Then maybe more Adapt. champions that like summon things, like like the uh, Archmage. Like I feel like this is a, is a good battle group, especially with the Librarian. But just like fine tuning it might be nice. Yeah, dude, I cannot believe I misclicked on that Jalibrium. That sucks. All right, so this is. And that's use. useless because he has no abilities. Yeah. That did nothing. Oh, he just oh, and he healed, healed from that. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. I was wondering. It was from the. Uh... The Hungry Mire. Can you kill him, though, and get the Relic? Yeah, right? I awesome. should be able to, yeah. It's loss of life. It still counts for damage reduction, I believe. So the the uh, minus two, but I'm not sure if it... Or the minus four, sorry. Because the SL bonus. Oh, shit. I can ritual his his uh, dragon. True. That's 16 healing if it doesn't kill it. You're not in hive range, so you get 16 healing. That's not bad. Why 16? It's only 8. What do you mean? No, it's 8-8, eight, eight, right? It doubled the ritual healing, you mean? It doubles? Why? Because it's the closest friendly and yourself. Oh, shit, really? Oh, wow. I never realized that. So it's the closest friendly champion within 5 spaces and this champion. And because you're the closest and this, so you get 16 and all. Alright, so this is really bad because he has his Angel of War on my Librarian, which is my win condition. Yeah, yeah. Dude, imagine if you had two of these out. Imagine if you had 51-51 right now. Holy cow, that'd be dope. Yeah. But I mean, you're Archmage. He'll heal for 16 this turn, which is not bad. Um... Any anti-healing out? No. You have uh, the 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 uh, Valdak is dead next turn. Legionnaire is hex for some reason. Not bad. Yeah, can you kill the Ardent? No. Wow. Yo, I said minus four. What wow. was it? it was only minus two even. Wow, that's embarrassing. <laughs> no. Oh, the Vex, the Vex with the uh, divine. Wait, what happened? Divine Wellspring. What the fuck? What's that? The uh, oh, Vex shit. has an ability, Divine Wellspring. <laughs> I mean, you won't do much damage next turn, but it would have been well, dude. to get that Spirit Harvest off. This ain't looking good. Yeah, it's close. Looking good. I gotta protect this uh, this Librarian at all costs, though. I mean, yeah, once, once Valdak dies, how does he ever deal with the Archmage? And you have what? Oh shit! I forgot about Doom. Oh, nice. Yeah, Doom, Doom, Doom. He's dead next. Wait, turn. so can I save him? He double tap. He only taps once with Valdek and twice with the Legionnaire. Okay. Should I weaken? He probably has a spell to kill the Archmage no matter what. So I think Archmage is dead in every way unless you have like a buffer. But 
57 stats. Oh my god. 57. Desperate. This is desperate. Oh, that's funny. I don't know, man. This looks bad. I have no fonts. It's true, but either way, it's a fun game. It's interesting, at least. You don't get this too much. Like, he just needs to spell spam. I mean, you did pretty my, well. Uh, he was playing, like, SL meta, right? SL, like, it was Draxar, but then he played Valdak and, like, Vex. So it might be meta and not Draxar. I mean, he does have certain Draxar on the Vex. So I guess it's Draxar, which is pretty close to, I would say, like, tier, I don't know, 1. Maybe 2, 1.5, something like that. And whatever you're playing, I don't know what tier this is, but... <laughs> so this should kill. Yeah, this will kill. Yeah. So he finally gets bought, I guess. This will kill. Oh, okay, now it's done. Yeah, okay, with with the quicken, it's done. He's gonna kill the Nexus, your Archmage. He might even kill your uh, Librarian. You can't kill the Nexus. He's immune. Oh, yeah, okay. True, true, true. All right. Ah, he's at 60 Nora. <laughs> That's minus... minus t <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> minus 20 Nora on him right now. If you had gotten the uh, Spirit Harvest off, that'd be really dope, but whatever. I guess you get an extra... You know, even if I hadn't fucked up the calculation, because he had that thing that prevented him from dying... I don't think it would have mattered. But doesn't Spirit Harvest, because it's loss of life, and it's not an attack, doesn't it go through Impervious? Oh, does it? Really? I'm not sure. Yeah, but it still would have prevented him from dying once, and then he would have become Impervious. So. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. It could be true. I'm not positive how that works. Whatever. I have no way to deal with the Angel of War. Yeah, don't forget the uh, Tainted statue, statue, though, so watch out with spells. Yeah. I mean, okay, so Valdek is dead. You can, can you get the normal globe with the next? Yeah, I can teleport over there. Yeah, you can get the normal globe if you want. I remember playing against a battle group that was kind of similar. It was uh, from Waxler or Waxler X, something like that. And he played double doom and double chains of corruption or whatever it's called. The spell that like, the possession one that you had. He played that twice, and then he played loads of like small champions. It was really hard to deal with, actually. Okay, so kill. Get the Norglobe there, too. So you got both Norglobes. Again, right. the only thing that's keeping you alive constantly is just getting the Norglobes, really. Should I Chains of Corruption the Angel of War again? <laughs> <laughs> or the Vex? It's a good, good question. <laughs> I don't know. Uh... I mean, a really big, big thing is just kill, keep that Stitch Librarian alive. Is that 30 Nora? Keep him in that yeah. magic zone, maybe, just so he doesn't isn't able to play a spell on it. If he plays like I don't know, what what spell could he even play on the Stitch Librarian in SL? Not not much. So. Oh no! Oops, my bad. What do you think? Um, to play the Chains of Corruption, you mean? Yeah. I mean, you do have Weaken on it, so for at least two more turns, he is not doing anything. So, and then the turn after, you can Hex, I guess, with the... Or not Hex, but do something else. So at least for two more turns, he's going to be pretty weak. Just make sure not to get into range of, like, Spur. I mean, he doesn't he doesn't actually have the, uh, what's called, uh, melee specialist, so you're okay here. He, d he won't do much damage. I mean, you didn't have to go into range of Double Tap, but whatever. I thought he was weakened still. He is, he is, but he's still double tapping. I mean, it's 4-4, four, four, but fuck it. Yeah. Well, I just... The important thing is that he doesn't chase my librarian. Yeah, yeah, true, true, true. <laughs> That's the only thing keeping me in this game with zero fonts. <laughs> yeah, what you really Can need... You... I mean, you have the battle group is pretty good with reducing the damage, but, like, keeping fonts while you're also, like, doing unfavorable things, right? Generally, the the librarian with spells is kind of not. What, what's the word? Not uh. What what? Why did he do sixteen? Oh, the uh, dragon guard stuff. Yeah, okay, he's dead. I mean, what I'm saying is, it's not efficient to use the uh, librarian, but if you can play like on the cusp, like you're constantly playing on the edge, right? Yeah. And that's like such a hard bad group to play. There are other ones like it. What's another bad group that always plays on the edge like that? S or sorry, UD in general. 
with the like very aggressive attack attack and like it's always on the edge of like losing because if you don't get that one push you'll die but uh yeah this battle group is also like that where you're, just, you're always on the edge of losing <laughs> like constantly it's a hard so he group. cleansed but he cannot cleanse corrupted soul until it, he becomes possessed which means i have to kill the dragon staff before corrupted soul goes off Wait, what does it say? Equip champion is cleansed, gains purified. But isn't cleanse? Isn't the definition of cleanse is like a, a hmm, a friendly champion? I'm not sure. No, purified will remove um, my possession. But it's not a That's negative negative condition once it's yours, right? To be, I don't know how it works. No, it still is. It okay. still is owned by your opponent. All right, all right. Then yeah, I guess you just. Or oh, I see what you're saying. No, I mean it works. It works somehow. I don't know. Okay. Because I remember at one point... I feel like that one crucial mistake of spending 75 no on... Um, this is probably a big mistake as well. <laughs> Shatter. Yeah, I think it's over two at this point. You're two cha three champions versus three, but he's at three fonts versus... I mean, you can get his font again, and then it's three fonts versus two. And you're at 63 <laughs> minus 30 Nora for him at the moment. Oh, okay. All right. I see what you're doing. Ooh, who's that? What's up? Why, hello. Hello. We're watching uh, News Buff versus No Locks. It's like a very back and forth game, but it's kind of heading to the end, I, maybe, at this point. I just. <laughs> I just lost to Magic M, but because I had to run out and get my fucking door a couple of times. Missed a couple of turns. I'm kind of sad about it. Yeah, that sucks. And it was to Sage Poe. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, I'm really lose to him. What's like a champion that doesn't die? I feel like that's what you need in this bad group. Like, uh. What's the um, FS guy called? The one that, that has a uh, recon. Fish Kisser. Say again? I can't cast spells because of this fucking tainted statue. Yeah. What's the FS champion with a reconstitute? Oh, Mucker. Yeah, Mucker. Like, Mucker might do okay in this battle group just because it's very hard to kill. You can keep playing, like, spells on it. How many turns are left on my Corrupted Soul? Oh, yeah, you have that running. True. The, after that hits, you might have a chance. Dude, you're at fucking 63 What does this dude spend charges on? Divine Wellspring. At least five charges. Oh, it's this guy. Oh, that's that guy. Okay. So this Lasher Helm is going to kill my Overmind, sadly. But he's at 12. Yeah, I mean, not right now, but I mean, eventually. Oh, <laughs> true. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, what? True. But I can just keep teleporting and threatening all these ah. fonts up north. Yeah, especially with uh, the uh, one with Nora. I wonder how many turns are left on my on my uh, corrupted soul. Yeah, I think I mean two top. I think I'm gonna get him on his next turn. Dude, sixty three stacks! Holy cow! I've never seen that like that high stacks before. That's this B. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so he put a consulate up north, which does have a melee attack, reflexes. Definitely aura. He doesn't get into your font, though, this turn, unless he plays a relic, which is good for you, I guess. Like, the longer the value this game goes, the better you're winning, or the more you're winning. Yeah, exactly. So the question is, do I kill the Tainted Statue with Overmind, or do I try to teleport him away and heal or buffer? Um, because I can heal with shaman again. Both. <laughs> both. Can't do both. <laughs> oh, whoa! Or, That's or that. Not what I wanted to do. Did you just see that? Yeah, you attacked his vex. Wow. Yeah, misclicks, man. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That's okay. Well, that makes things uh, a lot harder. That makes things yeah, a lot harder. Dead. Yeah, your your uh, overmind is dead. Next turn. You do have top font though. That gives you some Nora, which is kind of dope. 
Now you're at 66. I mean, this battle group is cool, but I can't imagine it being fun to play. Like, imagine every <laughs> single game being 38 turns. It's fun for me. It's maybe not fun for anyone else. I, Dude, I, I, just, I too love watching paint dry, my friend. <laughs> I cannot believe I misclicked, and now I can't destroy the statue or save my Overmind. That is really disappointing. Um, if my calculations are correct, I'm going to own this angel turn. All right, that's good. Once you get the angel, that's a big stat. It was a 61 Nora, Hunter Walker, Spur on your side, 9 speed at the moment for whatever reason. I have to keep this guy in dead magic zone at this point. Yeah, true. All right, so you get, uh, and you get the fawn back. I think he might even surrender here with you getting the angel of war, unless he can somehow get it back. If I hadn't fucked up my overmind, maybe. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of true. I mean, oh shit! Perfect. No, that's good because I can shatter it. Oh, okay, true, true, true. All right, good. Oh, I was getting scared. I was like, oh no, your condition, your win condition. Nine speed? What the fuck? What? Does he always have nine speed? I think because of the spur, but I'm not really sure. Oh, mutate speed as well. Okay. He's at Damn. six base, mutate speed, as well as the um, intensified, which gives him one speed. So this thing go. is beefy. Yeah, he is. Now he can still cleanse it. He can still cleanse it. Yeah, but how does he? Um, that think, Dragon God staff has to come off works. cooldown. I don't think that works, though. I think you have to cleanse it from another champion, or... Like, can you play a Relic on it? Because then it's his champion? I'm not sure. I remember it being really awkward to do back in the day. I'm so mad I didn't kill that statue. I think I'm going to put out a Shaman, just to keep my Librarian... Healthy. I can't believe you stayed with this game so long. I did warn you. Yeah, I know. I I, I don't regret fully yet, but I'm starting to. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see how this. Uh, if he starts, if he keeps fighting and throughout the game, we'll see. Bloodthirsty blade, multi attack, skirmisher, and impervious. Oh, but it dies after. Let's do this. All right. There. I put my uh, my my computer screen off of full screen, so at least I can use my my second screen to watch things. That's funny. Ooh, nice, nice, dude. Okay, I cannot misclick again. Wait, you have to That's... get his font or that middle font. You have to make sure not to. Yeah, exactly. Don't fuck this and up. Just keep your librarian back. Like at this point. Don't even get I know, I'm tempted to try to kill that statue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You you I have gonna... enough Nora to I have enough AP to kill it. You don't have the Should I be you have nine you have nine damage and it's ten AP. Or eight oh AP. shit. All right. Good point. Yeah, no problem. Okay. okay minus and I still... thirty three. Minus thirty three Nora or at the moment. Holy cow. <laughs> uh, is that really thirty three? Wait, am I miscounting this? Is it every ten or every three? Every three, okay. Uh, so how much is he losing? A lot. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's see, he's losing 22. 22 Nora. So he's two fawns down in a way. <laughs> all right. Um, I think that's all I got. Oh, and he's doomed. His Vex is doomed. Yeah, I think I got the game again. Dude, <laughs> oh yeah. He His should Vex also be like dead. down in champions like at this point. Like he might not even have the champions to deploy. I think all his runes are on cooldown. Exactly, That's the problem. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's an unconventional battle group. You said it was underpowered, and I still won, even though it was painful for all parties involved. <laughs> Uh, kind of <laughs> true. I mean, I don't think your battle group is super bad. I think it can be optimized a tiny bit, but like the idea is pretty smart. Like the whole idea with the uh, librarian and the Norax is pretty cool. Creativity, but, wizard boost. I mean, there's a lot of synergies yeah. built in. I mean, it's like Forsaken Waste with being. It's like a worse version of Forsaken Waste. Like Forsaken Waste also just wants to get to the uh, vengeful stacks and deal damage, while you're in the other hand doing like you don't get Nora right, which is also interesting. 
It's just a hard bad group to play. These these kind of bad groups that are always on the cusp, right? Like Forsaken Waves, UD, where like it's every turn. Do I do the right thing or do I lose? It's kind of that's how I feel like it with it at least. I'm amazed I'm winning despite making several really bad mistakes, especially the 75 Nora Corrupted Soul play. Yeah, yeah, true, true, true. Imagine, imagine if you had one more champion on the field right now. I mean, if I had, this game would have ended much sooner had I not made that terrible misplay. I feel yeah, okay, there's that. Heal. Looking good. Just keep him back. <laughs> I think, I, I think I had to keep him back, like... Yeah, don't even, like, just put him behind your font. Like, at this point, he's... There you go! <laughs> Fuck yeah! GG! Oh